What's up guys, also watching and welcome back to another video. Today we're back here again on Google Maps for another video of GeoGuessr Tips. So yeah, I haven't done one in a while, so today I will be bringing you guys another episode of GeoGuessr Tips. So I have around like 10 or so um tips, uh, world tips today to be sharing with you for GeoGuessr. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. The first tip is for Japan. If you do see yellow guardrails in Japan, you have to be in the Yamaguchi Prefecture. Which is right over here, um, in uh, South Japan here. So yeah, yellow guardrails in Japan equals Yamaguchi Prefecture. Um, moving on here. If you do see this arrow pointing to the uh, outer lines of the road, you have to be on Hokkaido. Um, so yeah, these arrows point to the outer lines in case it snows, so you can see the, the outside of the road. So these arrows here pointing to the outer lines are very, very common in Hokkaido, which is just the northern island of Japan here. So yeah, very cool. Uh, moving on, um, if you do see these red and white striped pole bottoms in Russia, you do have to you have to be in the uh, Ulyanovsk Oblast. I don't speak Russian, so I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, but anyways, it is right here um, in Western Russia. Here, this oblast here does have red and white painted pole bottoms. Um, moving on to another Japanese tip if you do see a uh, blue uh, blue text on a uh, sign like speed limit sign a give way sign or anything like that instead of black text you have to be in Japan so yeah, Japan does use blue text um, instead of black text or black numbers for their signs here um, so yeah another thing that I also forgot to say uh, in first Japan tip it's not a uh, uh, it's very helpful um, when you're trying to narrow down your guesses, especially from like a dark path in the middle of nowhere. Japan does use low cam, so basically what that means is that the camera is mounted lower than uh, than uh, other countries. So yeah, the camera is like only six inches above the car instead of you know, eighteen, I believe, or some of that. But yeah, you could visually tell the difference. This camera does feel lower, and you can see like the car here. It does feel lower than the standard uh, height of the camera. So yeah, only a few countries like Japan and Switzerland are like basically the only two countries that use uh, low cam. Some other countries have it scattered throughout, but it's mainly Japan and Switzerland that do use low cam. So yeah, just another thing to keep in mind. Um, low cam here, as you can tell. Um, so yeah, I just want to throw that in there. Pretty helpful. Moving on to a Ukraine tip. If you do see Polish bollards, which are uh, red in the middle uh, and white on the top and bottom here, these bollards are uh, found throughout Poland. But they're also found in this oblast of Ukraine, Zakopatia or whatever. Don't again, don't speak the language. Don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but if you just see Polish bollards in Ukraine, you have to be in this oblast here, which is on the um, southwestern part of the country right here. This oblast does use Polish bollards. All right. Moving on to a California tip. If you do see three yellow stickers on a uh, utility pole or power pole, you have to be in California, as all of the other states use one yellow sticker, but California uses three. So three yellow stickers on a utility pole is in California. Um, moving on to um, a Australia tip. If you do see like a yellow sticker on a sign pole in Australia, you have to be in the Northern Territory, which is, um, of course, in Northern Australia. Um, pretty big. Can't miss it, really. But yeah, this yellow sticker is usually found on like, giveaway signs, speed limit signs, uh, etc. in Northern Territory. So yeah, very cool Australia tip there. Uh, moving on, this is kind of a generic tip, but it's also very helpful if you're trying to narrow your guesses. Um, for the U.S., Texas, uh, Texas's pavement or street is very, very grainy. So as you can see here, it's very grainy. You could uh, visually tell the difference. Um, so yeah, Texas pavement very grainy. Um, so you could tell that from uh, tell apart from other states. So yeah, very grainy. Uh, Texas pavement. Um, so yeah, that's that. And um, moving on, uh, we have uh, two more. Yeah, two more tips here. Um, if you are in uh, Turkey and you do see a like a half circle or a semicircle uh, on the top of a street sign, you have to be in Ankara, which is just the capital of Turkey. All of the other cities and whatnot use a flat top, but Ankara has like a semicircle um, on the top of their street name signs. So yeah, very cool tip. Ankara, the capital of, of Turkey. Um, Turkey actually changed their name <laughs> to like. Uh, I don't know, I think it's still pronounced Turkey, but they changed their name. <laughs> it's funny, you can see it on the map. 
the turkey changed their name. Um, I think you still pronounce it turkey, but oh well. Um, and moving on, so yeah, the final tip that I do have to share with you for this video is for uh, Vienna, which is the capital of Austria. If you do see this sign on the side of a building, it's like a navy blue with white text. Um, you have to be in Vienna, so yeah, this number in the front actually corresponds to the district of Vienna. So you could just look up a map, districts of Vienna, study them, and that will be very, very helpful. So like 1 is dead center, and then like 22, will be, they go up to 22, and they, 22 will be like out east in the suburbs or whatever. So yeah, 1 through 22, if you do see this sign, uh, you, you have to be in Vienna, which corresponds to the districts of Vienna. Once again, the capital of Austria here. Um, so yeah, those are all the tips that I had to share with you uh, for this video. Hopefully these help. I do have a few other, like I believe like three um, world tips, and I also do have a US tips and Canada tips already um, up on the channel. If you want to go ahead and watch those um, very helpful tips in those videos as well. But yeah, those are all the tips I had to share with you once again. So yeah, that's pretty much going to have to wrap today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, do not forget to smash the like button and subscribe. As always, stay safe. Alright, so I'll see you in the next video. Peace.